Okay, hello my friends, uh, welcome back to the channel and today uh, we will be talking uh, with the educational video uh, something about uh, fuel efficiency in cruise and uh, how we are dealing with the situation um, if we are uh, not strictly uh, adhering to ATC air traffic controllers and uh, we have free hands uh, to for example climb that's okay and that's perfectly okay but how to establish uh, the proper uh, climb speed okay uh, so first of all, all uh, I would like to point out the cruise page okay because uh, the longer flight you have uh, the lower the weight uh, gross weight of your airplane, airplane is that means that uh, for example uh, you depart from Vienna and you are flying to Tromso and uh, in half of the route uh, you burn for example half of, the, half of the fuel okay so that means that you have no longer gross weight uh, 70 tons but you have gross weight approximately let's imagine uh, 60 tons okay so that means that uh, it's crucial uh, to make a step climbs uh, this is uh, just for the long haul flights but it's applicable for us uh, which are uh, making uh, short to medium flights with Boeing 737 and how we can deal with the situation uh, first of all uh, you have to look at the significant weather chart uh, which I am going to depict it uh, on the on the print skin right now and here you can see that uh, oh, within uh, these columns uh, you have the tropopause level what does it mean? it does mean that from this level uh, there is no longer a decreasing of the temperature uh, it means that uh, there is isothermal or let's say inversion layer okay uh, and as far as you are from equator and the tropopause level will be low enough so that's why uh, when the long haul flights uh, are flying uh, through the North Pole uh, they are flying with a low altitude for example flight level 300 okay uh, it's because uh, it doesn't make sense to fly higher uh, because the temperature uh, it's uh, higher and uh, you'll burn much fuel another reason is uh, the meteorological conditions uh, after tropopausal level uh, all the things which are related to uh, like jet streams uh, thunderstorm area areas and so on disappeared so uh, you have uh, perfect flight so that means uh, that your optimal flight level uh, should be approximately within the tropopause level as you can see right now uh, from the chart uh, we are directly directly uh, uh, going to point which is called uh, penor point okay so uh, if you look at the chart I will show you a picture right now uh, overhead uh, penor point uh, the tropopause level is 350 uh, that means that uh, from this point uh, it should be uh, it shouldn't be benefit it shouldn't have uh, the benefit to climb higher okay uh, and as you can see from the wind information right over there uh, if we fly higher look at the temperature the temperature is the same but there is the change of the wind conditions and right now uh, we have some feature in Boeing okay while well, cruise page the cruise page is always showing you the optimal flight level but this is regarding uh, not to the environmental conditions but the, according to the, your gross weight so uh, be aware of this fact so now we are flying flight level 350 uh, if we obey that uh, on the west uh, we should use 
340, 360 and so on and on the east uh, we should have 370 and so on uh, so optimum level will be 360 okay so uh, what we can do right now because the temperature is the same uh, in the level so we can put 360 right over here and we can see if we have the penalty or if we have the saving and as you can see uh, if we climb oh, one level up we have saving of one percent of fuel that's pretty cool and that's pretty okay uh, step point is now but currently we have wind conditions uh, 270 at 43 which is basically depicted right over here okay but uh, imagine that if you climb for example uh, it's just the example if you climb higher uh, and your wind suddenly changes from 360 because we are now heading uh, to the north and there will be significant change of the weather for example 70 degrees okay I put it there and now you can see we have penalty of 4 degrees of percent of the fuel so in this case uh, it makes no sense to climb higher so this will be very short video <laughs> again very short video but uh, I hope you like this video uh, because if you are flying on Watsim for example from Vienna uh, to Palma de Mallorca uh, you have uh, pretty much fuel on board and as you can get, get rid of the fuel uh, your step climb uh, will be higher and higher but uh, in some circumstances it uh, doesn't mean that uh, your step climb will be your optimal flight level and you save the fuel okay so this is the uh, this is the let's say very simple explanation how to uh, set up uh, your uh, best uh, economical cruising flight level but you have to always comply with the ATC so ask them if it is possible or if it is not possible okay so I hope you like this video and uh, see you uh, the next time soon. Bye bye.